Miss Fisher here again. Hopefully you've watched the tuning video and you are in tune. G, C, E, A. Okay, check your tuning. And um, we are going to actually start talking about chords today. So I'm gonna teach you your first chord today. And your first chord is gonna be your F chord. All right, before we do that, on your left hand, you need to know what fingers are what numbers. Okay, your thumb is not a finger for, for ukulele. It is in real life, obviously, but in ukulele, it's not a finger, okay? Finger one is going to be your index finger, okay? Finger two is your middle finger, okay? Finger three is your ring finger, and finger four is your pinky. So anytime you see on the ukulele, I have stickered some stickers for you, and this is to help you learn how, where to put your fingers. So finger one only ever goes on stickers that have a one on them, okay? We don't stick a finger, a finger number one on a sticker that says number three. We don't do that because somebody way smarter than me knew how to move fingers around the best way. And we're gonna learn the way that everybody learns how to play, okay? So finger one, and we're actually, for this chord, we're gonna use two fingers. We're gonna use finger one and finger two. And we're gonna find our yellow stickers. So you'll notice that where the yellow sticker is, there's a yellow one and a green one, okay? On the neck, are this is what we call the fretboard. Okay, and the frets are separated by these little metal bars, okay? Really, you wanna stick your finger on the string between the metal bars, okay? When we're all the way at the end of the neck, obviously there's not a metal bar here, it's just a, um, I don't know what you call this material, but this is part of the bar. So you're sticking it between this bar and this bar, okay? So you don't, when I say I want you putting your fingers on the yellow sticker, I really mean kind of in between the fret. And really for this one, you're placing your finger between yellow one and green one, okay? And you're gonna push down the string. You don't have to push down super hard, okay? Now, finger two, your middle finger, is gonna stretch up to yellow two. And again, don't try to stick it on the yellow because that's not gonna sound right. You wanna kinda stick it in between the, the metal bars and it's gonna kinda go between sticker, uh, the yellow sticker and the pink sticker there, okay? And you're pressing down on those strings without um, touching any of the other strings. And this is your F chord, okay? F. Because what you're doing when you press down the strings, when you don't press down the strings, this is what it sounds like. Which, this is a chord, but we don't play this chord in a lot of songs. Okay, so what we're doing is we're changing our E string. We're playing our, this is our E string. We're pressing down on there, and now we get the note F, which is in the F chord. Okay, that's a note in the F chord. And then when we stretch up our finger onto yellow two, we're taking G and changing it to A. Okay, so now all of our strings are, are notes in the F chord, and it sounds good. Okay, so we're gonna play our F chord and we're going to do what's called a strum pattern, which is the down strum. You're gonna take your thumb of your right hand, okay? And again, hold your ukulele snug against your body. Some kids I always see holding it like this, okay? Your, your ukulele is gonna fall and flop and that's not gonna be good, okay? So on the yellow stickers, we're gonna do just the down strum pattern on quarter notes. So just down, 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 Okay, that gets kind of boring, so we need to know some songs, right? So the first song that only uses the F chord is Rain, rain, go away, come again another day. Okay, so you just played your first song. Let's try it together, all right? Try to sing with me. Here we go. One, two, we're going to strum first. Ready, strum, and down, down. Okay, now we need to do another strum pattern. So our second strum pattern is going to be a down up pattern, which are eighth notes. Down, up, 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 down, up. 
Okay, the up pattern is hard for some people at first. I like to try to use the back of my thumbnail, but everybody has to kind of find what's comfortable for them. And so you're gonna go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, okay? So now we can sing the same song, but now our strum pattern's a little more exciting. So let's try the same thing we just did with Rain Rain Go Away. Here we go, one, two, ready, strum, and down, up, Okay, so that's two strum patterns you can do on that song. Uh, we can do other strum patterns, but I'd like you to go ahead and just get down, 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 and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up with that key. Okay, another song we can do is the farmer in the dell. Okay, now you notice that my down up was a little off, so it was down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, but that fits the song, right? The farmer in the dell, bum, bum, the farmer in the dell. So you can kind of do that, okay? And of course, you know there's a lot of verses to the farmer in the dell. The, let's try it together. One and two and ready, go. The farmer in the dell. song goes on and on and on and on all the way till the rat takes the cheese and the cheese stands alone. So if you know the song, um, you can sing all the verses. If you don't know the song, you can look up the lyrics because it's not hard to find all those lyrics. Okay. Um, and then we can just practice those songs. In the next video, I'm going to teach you a different chord and we're going to talk about switching chords. So I'll see you next time.